really getting annoyed with him. What are you doing? Well, 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 um, just eating. You're not supposed to be eating that. Why not? I'm sorry. I don't care. There's other stuff. Not eating candy. I'm going to catch you. What are you doing? I'm trying to get dinner. That's not dinner. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Uh, you can't uh, eat these. Yes, you can. They're chicken. No, you can't. These ones just produce eggs. They're not for food. I thought you eat chicken. We do eat chicken, but there's different ways of chicken, different types. That's not as eating chicken. It's chicken. I catch them in Minecraft and I cook them when I stream. That's different. These produce eggs only. They're not fat to eat. Let me see if there's chicken here, right? Oh, you mean like eggs like these? Well, you can eat the eggs. I don't want to eat the egg. I want to eat chicken. What's he doing now? What are you doing? I ordered Chinese because you won't let me eat. Ooh, Jonathan's chicken. Have chicken. I tried having chicken, Mom, but guess what? You stopped me from having chicken. Jesus. That was the wrong kind of chicken. Chicken's Can, chicken. So now you're gonna eat stinking Chinese food? Yeah, because it's good. Really? Yeah, really. What are you doing? How about you eat some of that? This is wabbit food. Rabbit. Wabbit, that's what I said. Rabbit. Wabbit, wabbit food. I honestly don't understand what the big problem is, Mom. This is just Chinese food. It's not good for you. N neither is the, 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 the bowl of food I was having. or the candy? Or, that's yeah, not... That's no, food. That's... And then also the chicken. That's food. I figured that out when I stream on Minecraft. Well, stream Minecraft on Twitch. It's food. Child. This is food. The chickens in our backyard are only to produce eggs. They are not chickens They're food. To chickens food. You know what is on that chicken? Nothing. There's no meat on those chickens. Then what's this? I don't this know what you, I don't know what you order. It's General Tao's chicken. You should eat plain chicken without any thing on I it. I tried eating plain chicken. I see how it is. You're eating my Chinese food. And I have to sit here and eat rabbit food. This is even good. Doesn't even taste good. That Chinese product tastes 10 times better. Mm, it does. And you, you're drinking my Coke too. You want to get healthy. I do, but like it's Chinese and I paid for that. Hmm, guess what? Thanks for my dinner. Now I gotta eat crappy wabbit food. It's not crappy. Yeah, it's crappy wabbit food. Mm -mm. You can make that really good if we have strawberries. Put strawberries. I'm allergic to strawberries. I've always have been. You should know that. Put apples on it. I can't stand you. Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Okay, so you might be wondering, Jeff, where are you going right now? Actually, I need to go to my firehouse real quick. Uh, I gotta do two things. First thing is I wanna check out the gym because it's been a while since I used the gym. And uh, actually at one point today in the vlog, we're gonna be talking about my weight and some of that stuff because a lot of people have been questioning that. And then also on top of that, uh, I gotta kind of clean some floors tonight. We have a meeting, so gotta make sure the floors are nice and clean and basically ready for that. Yep, pretty much uh, looks the same. Haven't been in the gym since January, December, I don't know. Well, it's time to stop running from it and just finally talk about it. Hence, my weight is unacceptable. And, you know, I've been seeing comments on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. People mentioning, hey, what happened to the diet? Are you still losing weight? You look fat. Thank you. Um, and honestly, it, I think it's just finally time for me to kind of open up to you guys and just kind of be honest about what happened to the diet, what happened to the weight loss, and, you know, did I gain weight, which I did, 
unfortunately. You see, last year when the pandemic started, I just got back from South Carolina filming the docuseries for Kid Behind a Camera, and I was like, all right, it's time for me to go hard in this private gym, and I did for months, and then I got some advice from Logan Paul about, you know, how to actually work out, and then from there, I used that advice, got a trainer, got a coach, uh, shout out to Ian and Clay, who taught me how to actually lift and do a lot of things correctly and I was killing it for months and months and months until I got lazy and part of my laziness that happened there was from depression with a lot of things that I personally deal with with a lot of things that I really don't talk about on the internet only some of the closest people in my life uh, my friends basically know the things that I've gone through the things that I've seen my whole life and when when that depression kind of kicks in i'm gonna be honest here it really demotivates me and when you see the lack of content and you see that i'm putting on weight i'm at that point where i'm in, in a depression and you know i feel burnt out from everything and i, I kind of felt like i burnt myself out at the same time from working out so much in the gym i'm gonna be honest it was cool seeing the progress you know we went from like 282 down like the 245 it was the lightest and to be honest i think right now i'm like 265 i i honestly don't know i haven't stepped on a scale in months um i'm just kind of taking a guess uh, guessing in the ballpark right now thinking what i might be and honestly kind of ashamed of myself um but like at the same time i gotta realize i've dealt with years of trauma and depression so like when it hits me it just it, it makes like me being productive with any of the things that i'm trying to accomplish so hard and it sucks like i i'm i'm telling you guys like some of the things here and it when you get hit by that it just it brings you down to the point where you don't want to do anything. You don't want to be productive. I just want to sit inside all day and play video games, which I do even when I'm happy. But like, I don't know. I just, I got hit pretty hard with it this time, which around December or January was really the last time I was in the gym. And I really put in effort to the diet and, you know, into working out all the time. And all of a sudden, I just... I got burnt out. I got lazy and my depression got the best of me. So what does that mean moving forward? And honestly, that is a good question. To be honest with you guys, I am ashamed that I let myself get back to to being heavier again um, because I was proud of myself. I was proud of the work that I was putting in last year. And, you know, recently I, I kind of realized something to where you know, I was doing something, and all of a sudden, my heart, dude, my heart was in a bad, bad shape to the point where I thought, I thought I was going to go to the hospital. I know a few years ago, I had to get some tests done, and I got put under on anesthesia uh, for a thing called an endoscopy, and they told me, like, they said something about my heart, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, so I'm trying to get the medical records for that, and I'm trying to move forward honestly with just bettering my health at this point because like i don't want to die it's something like even even on the the lowest of the lows that i've been through i, I realized like i don't want to die i just want to continue being happy i want to continue making people happy keep making my family happy my friends happy and at the end of the day like i'm not doing myself any favors being overweight not taking my health seriously now starting to th really think i might have an issue with my heart and you know i'm looking into seeing heart specialists or heart specialists i got uh, appointments scheduled in june for this major stress test which is actually free for me as a volunteer uh firefighter that is going to hopefully provide some answers for my health and i already know the one thing honestly is is my weight i get that and i know people are going to say that and I did this to myself. I'm going to be just straight up honest with you guys. I did this to myself through my depression and the trauma and the things I've been through in my life. The food for me was an escape. And I can't I can't let that keep being the, the thing here. Because if I continue with bad habits, 
I'm going to be dead before I'm 30. And I know Jesse has said that to me before in the past. And that's one of my friends that I honestly respect the most and always appreciate anytime they give me advice. And, you know, for me, it's like, yo, I'm 24. I'm going to be 25 in July. Like, I would only be, I would only have five years left if I continue down this horrible rate. And, like, I don't want that to be the case. And the fact that I might actually have a heart issue now from being overweight, maybe, you know, from genetic stuff and also the constant drinking of energy drinks is not good. I know the last time I had an energy drink was two weeks ago, which I'm kind of proud of. It was only two weeks ago, but like I'm worried, guys, and I'm sorry that I let a lot of you down. I let my family down, my friends down, most importantly everybody down um i figured i'd just come on here and tell you guys the truth i am going back to the rigid house uh over the next few days so expect some more vlogs out of there um i just wanted to just come on and tell you guys what's been going on i love you guys remember to stay positive remember to keep the smile on your face until next time it's been your boy jeff keeping it real i'm gonna lock out i'm gonna peace out well peace i'm really ashamed of myself i can't believe I actually gained the weight back after trying so hard.